Hi everybody, Steve Griffiths here, developer of the MT Predictor software program. In today's MT Predictor video, I'd like to look at uh, one of our Holy Grail trade setups that's uh, just unfolded on a 15 minute, so a slightly longer term chart of the Nifty over there in India. But before we go to the chart, as usual, we have to look at our risk disclaimer and remind you that all examples in these videos should be considered as hypothetical no trades are actually taken. They're just shown for illustration and training purposes only. Remind you there's a risk of loss in trading and investing. I'll put this another way. All professional traders know and understand, but more importantly accept that losses can and will and do unfold. It's all part of uh, professional trading. Right, let's have a look at the chart. So the setup I'm looking at is this TS1 HG or Holy Grail trade setup here. Remember, MT Predictor is not a black box system where we just blindly follow all the setups uh, mechanically. What we want to do is uh, follow the setups that um, have a clear, larger degree picture because we must remember that markets go in cycles. In other words, 50% of the time or slightly more, the markets will be in like a cloudy period or an unknown period, a period when the market is random. In other words, we can't do any meaningful analysis at all. And this is important to understand. So what we're looking to do is wait till the market becomes clear, which it does about half the time, and it's clear on the larger degree trend. So what do we mean by that? Well, the largest degree trend is a time frame between three and five time frames higher. So say if you're trading on a three minute chart, it would be the 15 minute chart. If you're trading on a daily chart, it would be the weekly. And as this setup here has unfolded on a 15 minute chart, the next logical time frame to go up to would be the hourly chart. So I'll just uh, uh, move out to the hourly data. Just wait while this loads. Right, here we are on the hourly charts. Uh, remember, we're not looking at our MTP trend. Uh, what we're looking for is our DP to show areas of support or resistance. So this area where I'm circling here was where our 15 minute uh, Holy Grail buy came in. So what we're looking for is to see whether the previous low, i.e. this low here, came in at DP support. So how do we do this? Well, if we go back to the previous pivot, right mouse click here, and do decision point, you can see this gave us an area of support. This was it would have been on the chart in advance. It's important to understand these are leading indicators. So if I do one from the top here, you can see it's on the chart in advance. It's before the market gets there. So they're actually leading indicators. So in other words, this area of support would have been on the chart as the nifty was declining down into here. So what we're looking for is we're looking for the market to come down to make meaningful support on this uh, DP zone. We're then looking for an initial rally up. We're then looking for the initial correction down. And then after that, a strong rally up. <clears throat> Why are we to do this? Well, in Elliott Wave terms, if I right mouse click here and do Elliott Wave Intermediate, you can see that the initial rally off a low is a wave one. The initial correction is wave two. Then after wave two, we normally get a wave three, which is usually the strongest and longest swing in the completed five wave sequence. In other words, this wave three represents the largest potential profit potential. So I'll say that again, the largest uh, profit potential in relation to the smallest initial risk. In other words, this is the, the one of the best trades that, uh, that we have in MT Predictor. It has the largest profit to the smallest loss. Remember, losses can and will and always do unfold. But what do we also know about the wave two? Sorry, I'll put that DP back on again. We also know that the wave two subdivides into an ABC, a minor ABC pattern. So for this, we go back to the time frame we're following. But on the higher time frame, i.e. the 60 minute, this is what we're looking for, for the pattern to become clear. In other words, to come in and make a meaningful uh, reversal at our higher time frame support and resistance. Let's go back down and see how this would have looked like on our 15 minute chart. Right, let's just zoom out again. So this is what it looks like on our 15 minute chart. So here you can see our, our um, support coming in. So this would be our higher time frame support. Remember, we're not looking to trade all these setups. We're just looking to trade the ones that have um, that fit in with our large degree to picture. In other words, here, we now know the market's come in and made large degree support. Therefore, the market is likely to rally. So actually, we wouldn't be taking that TS2 sell, even though our MTP tent is gray. But the point being is that Here's our initial rally off that higher time frame support. In other words, this is where we start our Elliott Wave sequence. That's why I've developed my unique isolation approach to Elliott Wave. In other words, we don't look to do an Elliott Wave pattern 100% of the time because that doesn't work because the markets are only in a clear picture half the time. 
we're looking to start the sequence when we get a meaningful support and resistance on the higher time frame. The initial rally up would be a wave one, the initial correction down would be a wave two, and we're looking for that to subdivide into a minor ABC. If I right mouse click over the blue buy bar here and do the analysis, you can see there's our ABC correction the software's found in, into our one of our WPT or wave price target support zones here, and then we are looking to trade the wave three. And as you can see, that's exactly what happened. We then use correct position sizing to vary the number of lots, contracts or shares. In this case, keeping the risk uh, less than a 2% on our, I'll just change that from our default 20,000 uh, US dollars. Uh, I'll just use a, a rupee account. You can set up different, uh, <clears throat> different accounts there. So you can see that we use our position sizing in whatever currency you have. So if you're in India, you'll be using rupees. So this is uh, less than 2% of a 65,000 uh, rupee account. So there you go, it works out the number of contracts for you uh, to trade there as well. Remember, losses can and will and do unfold. So if this has been a losing trade, you'd have lost what we call one risk unit. That's what this uh, um, entry to stop would have been, one risk unit. So why do we like the Holy Grail uh, trade setup so much? Well, as I said earlier, it's because the moves are usually large because it's a wave three in relation to the losses so in other words, when the profits come through, the profits are large, but not just in rupees, in this case, but in risk units. So here the profit would have been approximately 6.8, or can I say almost 7? Almost 7 R, or almost 7 times greater than the initial risk to take the trade. So in other words, when the losing trades come through on this, and we've seen some losing trades on this recently, we saw one on the British pound in our last uh, video, the loss would have been a 1R loss, but in this case, the market rallied nicely, got up to the typical wave 3 WPT there, and the profit would have been approximately 6.8R or 6.8 risk units. But the whole idea of the Holy Grail trade setup is we're looking for meaningful support or resistance, in other words, support in this case, on the higher time frame chart. That's when the picture starts to become clear. Remember, we're not just taking all these setups blindly. We're only looking to take, set, take setups when the picture is clear on a higher time frame chart. And for that, we use our DPs. So here it came into DP support. We then got on the higher time frame, in other words, the 60 minute chart. We then got the initial rally. That would be considered a wave one in Elliott Wave terms. If I put the, the major Elliott Wave counts on here, do Elliott Wave major, you can see that's what it uh, shows you. In other words, that would be the wave one. We then have the wave two correction, which usually subdivides into a minor ABC, which you can see there. That then defines our Holy Grail trade setup. We're then looking to trade into the typical wave three WPT. And I said, as I said earlier, the reason I've nicknamed this the Holy Grail is not because it has a high percentage of winners, losses can and will and do unfold, but when the profits come through, as they have in this case, the profits are large, not just large in dollars or in this case rupees, but large in risk units. In other words, this profit would have been approximately 6.8 R or 6.8 times greater than the initial risk. So a great example of our Holy Grail trade setup unfolding on a slightly longer time frame chart of the, the Nifty over there in India, in this case the 15 minute with the higher time frame chart being on the 60 minute. So a good example of MT Predictions Holy Grail trade setup unfolding over there in India.